I'm adding turn signals to our lawn tractor and upgrading the headlights to LEDs. So to upgrade the headlights, incandescent ones are powered by AC from the dynamo, so they only run when the engine is running. So I had to cut the wire from the dynamo and I'm going to hook 12 volts up to this. And this is the relay board. I'm going to put the schematic up right now of the changes I've made and what I've added. And I already have a turn signal switch, which is just a single pole dual throw with an off position right here. That was for a four pin trailer light connector that I added. And now I'm going to add real turn signals that blink, real brake lights, and better headlights and tail lights to the lawn tractor. So this goes to the brake switch, which I already have two microwave switches installed, but with the new circuit, only one will be used and it will terminate this end with a spade connector. And now I will hook this up to the microwave switch. So this is the turn signal box. This is the hazard. And this is the turn signal. And this is the back. I haven't wired it yet. So this is the inside of the hazard and turn signal box. When you put this in right turn or left turn, It'll supply power to either the right or the left turn relays, and the power comes from here. When you use the hazard, it's like the turn signal, but it powers both the left and the right side relays, so both sides blink like a hazard light. The headlights have been... So, what I have to do is wire the ignition switch in such a way that Instead of using the 12 volts from the dynamo, it uses 12 volts from the battery. And the 12 volts from the dynamo only exists when the dynamo is on. And it is in AC, and I believe these LED headlights only work off of DC. This is inside the left tail light. So you have the turn signal slash brake which they're just connected and they have an amber and red. This is the tail light and this is the ground. In here, where it has the ground and the tail light that go in and out to the other light. We have upgraded the headlights and with the headlights on, the tail lights are also on. We have hazards. Brake lights. The configuration of the relays allows the brake to be overridden so you can still see the turn signal. The other turn signal works and as you can see this is not on even though the brake light is on. Those are the lights I added. So here I previously added it but the turn signals didn't blink and there was no brake light override. The Headlight control was separate from the tail light control, but now everything works together and these are basically hooked to the rear lights so they control the trailer lights. Nighttime test. These are the headlights. 